Hey everybody. The question today comes in from Ernesto and Ernesto asks, should I do New Year's resolutions? And of course, the answer has got to be yes. Anytime somebody's uh, interested in taking a moment to make their lives better, to learn something, to grow some, in some way, to, to take a moment to not let life just pass by, but rather to seize the opportunity to get better in some way, you got to do it. You have to do that. It's beautiful that people take this time of transition and choose to make it a time of transition for them to grow into a new person, to, to do something new, to stretch in some way. So yeah, absolutely, you got to. For more information on that, please see everything else I've ever done ever. Yes, of course, seize that moment. There are so many people who are just passing time. If you can do something to be on purpose to live deliberately, to live passionately, to, to seize a learning opportunity. Of course you have to do it. You owe it to yourself and the world needs to see whatever gift it is that you're chewing on. Of course you have to do it and do it in whatever way makes sense to you. Make a treasure map or keep a journal. There's 4 million uh, iPhone apps or whatever about how to keep your resolutions. Do it in whatever way makes sense to you. Get good goals that you can actually check off your list. Follow whatever rules make sense, but whatever you do, do something. But in a way, just for this moment, even though everything I ever talk about is about doing that, in this moment I want to let you know that it's also important to think about something else first. And that is, pay attention to what you're choosing not to do this year. You start out perfect, beautiful, and true. The truth about you on the inside, and for some people it's deep down inside, fair enough. But the truth about each and every one of us is goodness and honesty, integrity, purity, beauty, all of these good things. That's the truth about who you are. And so there's a level at which getting better has not as much to do with adding stuff on as it does with taking stuff away. So yes, absolutely. Find new things to say yes to. Find new things to add on to your character. Learn a new language. Do whatever you need to do. Find things to add on. But also, before you do that, make room. Find ways to take out the garbage. Find things that aren't true about you that you can say no to. Now this idea is something that's really big. And later on in the year, I've got something really big planned, so stay tuned, about what it means to say no and what it would mean in our world if everybody, just for one day, stopped putting up with things that weren't true. But for right now, think about ways in which you can take out the garbage. Think about ways in which you can say no. Think about ways in which you can be free so that you can make room to fill it up with all these beautiful new things. Make room today. Say no, and then say yes. Thanks for this opportunity to talk to you. Thanks for these amazing questions. Please keep sending in your questions. There's a million ways to do it. Facebook, send me an email, post a tweet with the hashtag AskDieter. There's lots of ways. Check it out in the comment section of this movie. But one way or another, keep sending in the questions. Keep subscribing to these videos. Keep sharing them with your friends. And as always, what I really want you to do is go to facebook.com slash Dieter Randolph and click on that like button. Thank you very much and Happy New Year.